in this particular fishing trip, not only are we fishing a new body of water, we're dealt with some really high winds for the time of the year when the fish should be on the bank to where we should be flipping tight to cover. So boat control and the ability to position our boat to make a, a good presentation is, is gonna be a little bit of a challenge. So when I'm out on the water in my mind, I'm always looking ahead of where I'm going, to, looking for those key locations where I need to present my bait or the change to a different type of bait, where I might wanna be drop, uh, dropping my power poles down, uh, where I wanna swing out uh, off the point a little bit and where I might wanna get tighter to the cover. So your, your head's always on a swivel. You're looking in front, left, right, behind you. You're looking at your sonar. You're trying to decipher that entire piece of the puzzle to make great bait presentation. Yeah, he's got my handcuffed there. I can't catch up to him. He's gone. <laughs> and the cameraman got whacked. He got my swimming crawl. He got everything right there. I, yeah, it's a prime example of doing everything wrong. The way I was flipping, I had the rod in the wrong hand. I had everything in the wrong hand. Too much slack. That fish hit it right when it hit the water. It wasn't very big. And you just never know when you're going to get those bites. And, you know, that fish there, he, he got everything, including my bait. So we'll re rig real quick. I'm using. See if we got any of them right here. I'm using this big bite, uh, basically swimming crawl on here. It's a little thicker than, uh, than say like the fighting frog or the yo mama or one of those types of bait. And I like it in this type of situation because those reeds are constantly, you know, grabbing on the bait and, and it allows it to stay up a little bit better. It's got tremendous action and I can bury the hook point in there and not have to worry about it constantly coming out and and getting hung up in the reeds and, and fighting it, especially with the wind that I'm dealing with right now, uh, it'd be really tough. I mean, that is a deadly punching combination that I've got going on right here, especially in the conditions that we're dealing with right now. Swimming that one up there. That's two bites now I've had swimming. May need to put a swim jig on. Work it out of this cover. You know, I've got my trailer on this is that swimming crawl and it's got great action like what we're doing right here when it's coming through there, putting off a lot of vibration and we're at the back end of a pocket now when that one there bit. So I caught him, I mean, I flipped in, hopped it twice, and then swam it out, and about the second rod pump, while I was swimming it, I saw the line jump, watched the swirl, and set the hook. All right, you can see the, the bulk, or the width, I should say even better, of those crawl, claws right there, and when they're coming through the water, they're turning and twisting and constantly putting off a lot of vibration, and, you know, it looks like a bait fish or a crawfish trying to get away. And, that's what we're trying to mimic while we're up in here.